This is a simple example in which I already recorded the information from a word problem about confidence interval with sigma unknown. We don't know if the population standard deviation is changing together with the mean, so we will assume that we don't know the standard deviation. I need then to have the standard deviation of my sample. I uh, already have recorded here the mean of the sample 70 and the size of the sample 25. The level of confidence in which I will work is 90% again. And this is what I know already. I know the formula for margin of error. I don't know t-value, but as you remember from the previous slide, I know the standard deviation of the sample and the size of my sample. I know the mean of the sample and if I calculate E, it is very easy to calculate lower and upper limit. One difficult part is to find the t-value. With Excel, the t-value formula is t inverse, t i n v, then probability, but the probability outside of the confidence interval, which is this red area to the left and the same amount of red area to the right side, which is the total of 10%, 1 minus, uh, 100 minus 90%, 10% is outside of the confidence interval and then the degree of freedom in our case 24. Now let's see the solution. So to solve this problem I need to have the given information, the information that I know as formulas because this way I connect between what is given and what are the formulas and then we are going for the solution first of all t value equal and now i will use uh, excel t equal t inverse of z Point 0.10, which is the area outside of the confidence interval, 24 degree of freedom, and the t-value, of course, here is rounded, brutally rounded, I would say. Nevertheless, they will use the whole information when I click on this cell. So this is the t-value equal... one point seventy one the margin of error now is very easy to calculate because I have the formula here in the green area and then I have all the values equal t value which is in the cell above d6 times the standard deviation of the sample 9 divided by sqrt which is root square of the sample size 25 and This is the E value, lower limit. The formula is X bar minus E. So lower limit is equal, equal X bar is 70 in the given information, the third value, minus the margin of error for the lower limit. I just click on the cell D7 where the information about margin of error is located. And then upper limit is equal equal 70 again plus the margin of error I am 90 percent confident that the mean of this population is between 66.92 and 73.8